I'm going to show you how to add an LG concealed ducted mini split unit to your LG ThinQ app. This requires you have a Wi-Fi module installed on your concealed ducted unit and that you have a simple controller on the wall and that you have the latest version of the ThinQ app on your phone. I'm showing this on an iPhone. This video also assumes you have already created your LG ThinQ account and are ready to add devices to the app. Open the LG ThinQ app on your phone and hit Add Device. Tap Select Device and Next. Tap air conditioners, scroll down to commercial, and tap ducted AC. Now tap the remote controller that you have. I have the simple remote. Now the app will tell you to hold the opera mode and fan speed buttons for three seconds. This did not work for me. Instead, just hold the fan speed button for three seconds until the number starts to flash. Once you see that, repeatedly press the fan speed button to cycle through multiple options until you see the letters AP on the screen. And double tap the power button. The backlight will go off. Turn it back on by tapping the power button again. Hold the fan speed button for three seconds again. And tap it again to cycle through to the AP. Now double tap the power button again. The backlight will go off, but the AP letters should remain and start blinking. Go back to your ThinQ app on your phone, hit next. You'll see a screen showing you how to find and identify the newly created LGE network. Go to your phone's Wi-Fi settings and you should see an LGE network. Join the network and to successfully join, you'll need to enter the password. The password is the last four alphanumeric uh, characters in the network's name doubled. So you enter the four characters, then you enter the same four characters again and hit join. Once it successfully joins, switch back to the ThinQ app if it's successful, you should see a list of Wi-Fi networks. Choose your home Wi-Fi network that you want your ducted unit to be on. Note that for this Wi-Fi module, this has to be a 2.4 gigahertz network. It will not work with a 5 gigahertz network. So make sure you have a 2.4 gigahertz network broadcasting in your home. Now wait a few seconds while the ThinQ app adds your ducted unit. You can see the progress bar at the top. Once the device is connected, you have the opportunity to rename it. Uh, I'm going to name mine AC Bedrooms. When you're done, tap Go to Home. And now you should see your newly added ducted unit on the home screen of your ThinQ app. Now let's check out some of the things you can do now that you have ad added to your ThinQ app. Once you get past this update product status notice, you can turn on the unit using the gray button in the upper right. Note that the orange light on the simple controller will come on even though the backlight doesn't come on. You can change the mode, operating mode, cool, dry, fan, heat, or auto. You can change the fan speed, low, medium, and high. And if I just press a button to light up the backlight here, you'll see that any changes you make to the temperature settings on your app will be reflected on the simple remote. So I'm going to change it to 77 here. You see that's reflected on the remote. And I change it back to 72. You see that updates pretty quick as well. You can also set a schedule on the ThinQ app. Um, what times of day you want the uh, unit to turn on and off. You can, if you tip add schedule you can control you know how many which days of the week it does this on 
I'm not sure if you can set a schedule just using the simple remote, the wired remote, but if you can, I presume it's not as easy as, as it is on the app. Um, so that's it. Everything you can do on the simple wired remote and more you can do on the app. I made this video because I did not find the full set of instructions on how to add specifically the concealed ducted unit with the Wi-Fi module. I did find a, a manual that told you how to, that said it told you how to do it on the simple remote, but it frankly gave wrong instructions. It told you to use buttons that didn't work for me. So thanks to a helpful subreddit and, and some trial and error, I figured this out. Um, hopefully this is helpful for others trying to do this specific task. Thanks a bunch for watching.